Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with Kelsey Lewin. Hi, that's me. Uh, we are here in Pink Gorilla Games, the Capitol Hill location, which is brand new. Uh, we just opened in January of 2023, and you haven't seen it yet. I haven't, so this uh, is going to be cool. Yeah, so I'm going to show you around and show you guys around. Let's take a look. So the reason we decided to open a third location is it's several things. We've kind of always wanted to be in this Capitol Hill area, but never found a really good fit for a spot. Um, also, it's just kind of day to day when you're working a game store, it becomes really hard to justify like <laughs> the entire process of opening a brand new store. So we finally did, we found this awesome space. Um, it's got the two stories, which we love because it allows us to have kind of like a, a storage and, and break and shipping area that kind of lets everything happen, you know, not in like a dingy back room, but in like an actually nice, well-lit area. It's got these huge windows and you can see everything from the street. Um, the lights are pretty good in here as well. We were able to um, paint everything so it's really bright and colorful and just kind of stands out from the street. Um, this is a really nice part of Capitol Hill, a um, nice part of downtown Seattle. It's pretty walkable to like the convention center. So if you're ever here for like an Emerald City Comic Con or a PAX or something like that, uh, it's pretty easy to just walk on up here. It's a little bit uphill, but it's not too bad. Um, right across the street from a really good ice cream place that totally went into the decision to open here. <laughs> Uh, we sell pretty much every system here. We certainly try to keep them all in stock. So right now we've got um, NESs. We just have a Super Nintendo Mini right now, or, or Junior, the, the smaller one, but I think they're about the same price as um, just a regular Super Nintendo. N64s, GameCubes, Wii U's, Wii U, Switch. We kind of run the whole gamut here. We do have a backwards compatible PS3 in right now. Those tend to go really fast. Um, a Japanese PS2 in box, which is a pretty interesting one, as well as a brand new PlayStation 2 controller, which is definitely a strange one. Um, you have a PS5. We do. We have a PS5 for probably the next five minutes. That just came in. Um, we do not sell them for above MSRP, which means they last, yeah, about five minutes. As well as a brand new Xbox Series S, the all digital version, and then a, a used one as well. Um, we sell some of the last gen consoles pretty cheap, like original Xbox Ones at this point, only 80 bucks with the controller and all the cords. Um, so that's always a pretty good deal here. And then um, probably the coolest system we've got in right now is this very, very nice uh, Super Nintendo control set that comes with The Legend of Zelda. We put brand new save batteries in all of our uh, cartridge-based games that have batteries. So that's got a brand new battery in it. The system itself is gorgeous. It's got all the original plastic and everything. So that's a, a really, really cool one. I don't expect that one to last super long either. Yeah, we have some pretty cool stuff in right now and some pretty weird stuff, stuff you might not realize is expensive, like pro sport hockey on the NES. It's a very expensive sports game um, that I'm not sure is actually any good, but you know, rare NES game. Uh, we have a copy of Devil's Third, which is incredibly hard to come by. It looks like that one is sealed. Yeah, that is a sealed copy of, De of oh. Devil's Third. I definitely meant to pick that up when it was $60 and totally forgot, and now I'm probably never going to have it. <laughs> um, yeah, lots of really good DS games in right now. We've got Luminous Arc, we've got Lunar Nights, some really interesting like RPG stuff that we don't see super often. Um, we get a lot of like kind of limited run games and super rare games and just that sort of things of that ilk traded in around here. Um, I feel like especially at this store, you never really know. It's always going to be kind of random what people bring in, but we've got a pretty good selection of that stuff. Um, as well as one of my favorite PS2 games in stock right now, Guitar Man. So this is our handheld section, or the, the loose handheld section at least. So we've got Game Boy and Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. We also have a pretty healthy selection of Japanese imports. That's something that we like to do here. Um, so we've got a bunch of Japanese Game Boy Advance games here. Um, some of them are definitely gonna be a little harder to play if you don't know Japanese, but some of them are basically the exact same game, like Kirby, Super Mario Land, like it's basically the same thing. Um, loose DS games and stuff as well. And then we keep some of the slightly pricier stuff down here. So anything that is over like $15 tends to go in this case here. A lot of Game Boy games do also have that save battery thing um, where they 
uh, will need a new save battery when they come in. So we replace that in every game that comes through here. So you will always have a fresh battery in all of your games. They should last the next 15, 20 years or so. And this is more handheld stuff over here. So this is where like Vita and PSP and DS and 3DS all live. We also have accessories for all of them up there. When you buy like a handheld system for, from us, it will always come with a charger. But if you just are missing your charger or need a new battery or something like that, we've got you covered as well. Um, again, we do sell a lot of Japanese games as well. We've got a pretty big Japanese Vita section. Um, that's kind of the only way to keep Vita sections alive is to have a Japanese <laughs> section. It's kind of healthy right now, but you know, the Vita stuff doesn't stick around super long. We do also sell Pink Gorilla Games merch. We actually sell that on our website as well, pinkgorillagames.com. Um, and then something we do is that we offer a lifetime discount if you are wearing some of our merch into the store. So if you buy a t-shirt, if you buy a hat, um, you wear any of that in, you get 10% off basically everything in the store or 20% off on Fridays. So that's kind of like our loyalty program over here. We also sell the bootleg buddies, which I know that you've covered on your channel before here, but um, this is a really, um, I think it's a really cool kit, probably because I designed it, uh, <laughs> for uh, kind of determining how to spot a fake or bootleg game. And it comes with a little companion guide here so you don't have to necessarily know all the differences off the top of your head. And then all the tools you need to open pretty much every cartridge. We've got a pretty awesome selection of Super Famicom games right now. Again, just another good option if you want a Super Nintendo game and you want it to be authentic, but you don't want to pay the price that the US stuff is going for. A lot of times it's a lot cheaper. Um, and then, you know, the, a little Atari section. Not our most popular seller, but you gotta have it. I look every time I come, <laughs> so I'm, I'm that guy. <laughs> uh, most of our disc-based Nintendo stuff is on this side. The GameCube section gets hit pretty hard, pretty frequently. It usually looks a little better than this, but boy, do people like GameCube games right now. Um, Wii U section, and then a pretty big Wii section as well here. This is becoming a much more popular system lately. And then all the way at the bottom here, we sell um, these boss fight books. Uh, which are just like a, a cool series of books. They're all $15. They're all written by different authors. Um, and they're all about just one game. I highly recommend if you see a title that speaks to you uh, to check them out. Cause I mean, I've, I've read probably like 10 of them at this point and they're all really good. And then my favorite, my favorite DVR. Is that true? <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm lying to you. <laughs> I'm lying to you for no reason. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> we also have, there's some accessories that are weirdly hard to find if you don't get them third party. We do sometimes have these in uh, first party as well, but we want to make sure we always have like the Xbox 360S um, power cable, um, as well as like Xbox One power cables. I think we have a Xbox 360E um, AC adapters as well. Just the really like ones that can get a little tricky to find because there's just so many different versions. Because I think of we did them. three different versions of the oh, power they supply. Did, they did more than that. Ridiculous. <laughs> there's the Slim, which is this guy right here. There's the E, which came after that, and then. Um, with the fat ones, there's like four or five different revisions. And there is one that's kind of universal on those, but yeah, it's it's a mess. <laughs> and then around here, we've got um, Xbox One, which is sells pretty well still, even, even with Game Pass, which is kind of surprising to me. Uh, a lot of the Xbox stuff is still really cheap, which is exciting, so it's a fun console. Um, same goes for 360. Uh, this section is absolutely stacked. We have tons and tons of games. And yeah, it is really a very cheap system to collect for right now. Now's the time if you want to get in to get in on the ground floor of a system. And we've got PS5 games and PS4 games, kind of like the Switch section. This is a very um, in and out kind of section. We get new games in every day. We sell a bunch of games every day from these sections. It's pretty popular. Uh, and then PlayStation 3 as well. Lots of cool stuff there. This right here is my pride and joy. It's our very colorful and fantastic uh, plushie and keychain selection here. Um, I work really hard to make sure we offer some really unique stuff. So we have a lot of really cool stuff uh, that's imported straight from Japan. Um, a lot of it's video game related. You see, we got a lot of Splatoon plushies. We've got a bunch of like little Pokemon keychains. Um, Sanrio is also very popular around here. So we do carry a lot of like little Sanrio stuff as well. Um, some of these little these are really cute. 
<laughs> some of these guys up here. And then around the corner here, this is all totally visible from the street, which I think is super fun. It's just a really cool thing to kind of turn the corner and see is this massive wall of plushies. Again, we get all this stuff in from Japan, so we get some really cool stuff that's not sold at like, you know, a Target or, or whatever around here. So some of these like 30th anniversary Kirby plushies. Uh, we've got some Digimon, not a lot of places selling Digimon or Hamtaro. Um, and some really cool Animal Crossing stuff as well. Some of the like brand new villagers that um, are new to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, Fire Emblem plushies, again, some more Sanrio stuff. And then you always got to have a really nice selection of, of Yoshis and Mario characters and that sort of thing. So I love this section. I think <laughs> I'm very proud of it. So we sell a lot of like Japanese gachapon and stuff in here, a bunch of really just cute, you know, little Pokemon. And then my favorite thing that we've just started offering is Ichiban Kuji. Do you know what Ichiban Kuji is? I do not. All right. Uh, it is a Japanese prize lottery. Um, so essentially you buy a random ticket and you get a random prize. Uh, you can see right here what we have, what our selection is currently. It's an Evangelion set. Have you ever seen Evangelion? I love Evangelion. Okay, great, awesome. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna draw one. So there's a different tiers of prizes. So, you know, you're always gonna get something kind of cool, but obviously, you know, it's a, it's a $10 ticket and like what you really want is like one of the really cool figures or something like that. And you might end up getting something a little bit more lame than that, but it's always something pretty cool. Um, so the way it works is you buy a ticket and then you get one of these guys right here and we find out what you get. So this is a G prize, which I don't think is a very good one, but that's okay. What did we get here? G's are, oh, these little face masks. So let's, let's pick out a face mask. And then the fun part about this, so it is random, um, but there's a finite amount of each prize. So, you know, even if you, mm. if, if you play enough, you will eventually kind of run out of the bad ones. And the very last one that's drawn, there's always like a grand prize and then like a last one drawn prize, which is kind of like a second grand prize. So we've got some options here for what your G prize is, if you would like to pick one. Gotta go with purple. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, it's really fun. So we're rotating them out every, um, hopefully about every month, um, maybe every like month and a half or so. And we've had some cool ones, summer anime. Um, very rarely do we get the Nintendo ones. I wish we could always get the Nintendo ones. Um, and then we get like Sanrio ones as well. So we had a Kuromi one last month that was really, really popular. One of the prizes was a trash can covered in Kuromi, so. <laughs> So you guys aren't normally allowed up here. This is actually just our storage area and this is just for employees only, but we'll make an exception to the video. So uh, don't look at that. <laughs> this is all stuff that's waiting to be processed. So we get a lot of trades here and also a lot of this stuff has just kind of been sitting in our storage unit. We do process stuff pretty fast, but you know, there's kind of always like some stuff lying around and there's some cool stuff in there. Everything else back here is pretty much just back stock. So this is where you know, back stock of like a lot of our plushies and keychains and stuff live so that we don't have to be constantly tearing down that wall and, and rebuilding it. Um, we do have a bunch of manuals and stuff here. We've never really sold or had a good way to start selling manuals to customers, but we are now finally starting to offer that um, and just kind of bringing them down for people. Cause again, like I said, this, this area is not really meant for, <laughs> for customers normally, but uh, we're starting to sort those and start selling those as well. Um, we also ship like website orders and stuff up here. Beautifully organized pack stock stuff up here. Um, so anytime we need to grab more memory cards or you know an extra Xbox 360 battery shell or power cords or all of that stuff that's all up here. Um, there's also a lot of kind of still needs to be tested or might need a fix controllers back here. It just kind of piles up. Um, and uh, do you need like 90 connects? Would you like 90 connects? <laughs> Can I interest you in 90 connects? Some of you guys might recognize this guy right here. This is the same Pikachu that we picked up with Metal Jesus 
many years ago now and he finally got a fresh coat of paint so he's looking really good. Uh, we gave him some sparkly red cheeks because we didn't want to pass him off as like totally original but um, you know, a, a cute way to, to make him stand out. Some of you may be wondering about our other downtown location in the International District that's still there. This is our third location now here in Capitol Hill. So we've got the International District, we've got the University District, and then this one now in Capitol Hill. Um, we were hit by a, a pretty frustrating wave of crime for a little bit there. I'm sure some of you guys heard, um, but we love that area. We have a ton of history there um, and the employees and all of us kind of came together and, and voted unanimously that we really wanted to make it work out there. Um, and the, you know, it, there being such kind of like a concentrated wave of it has really spurred uh, everyone in that area into action too. So it's definitely kind of improving over there. There's a lot of energy and we want to be, we want to be a part of that energy. We want to be a part of that solution and make that area awesome. So that's our new Capitol Hill location here in Seattle. It's at 613 East Pike Street. Uh, if you are in the area, especially if you're here for a convention, like I said, really close walk uh, from the convention center. Hope you guys enjoy this. We're really proud of it. I'm really happy that it's finally open. And if you're in Seattle, come give us a visit. At the end here, I want to thank Kelsey and Cody and the employees at Pink Gorilla for letting me come and film at their store and also just being a really awesome part of the local Seattle retro gaming scene. As you guys know, I love promoting small mom and pop retro gaming stores, not just in Seattle, but everywhere. And I love seeing stores like this thrive. So if you live in Seattle or if you're going to be visiting, you definitely should check out Pink Gorilla and also the other retro gaming stores in our area. On my website, I have a map that lists all 22 local retro gaming stores. So definitely check it out. And thank you so much for watching.